rocket, which stands 162 feet tall and weighs 680,000 pounds, was transported by a rail car to the launch pad at dawn on Sunday. You're seeing now footage uh, that was captured uh, earlier in the week, uh, first of the uh, Soyuz, uh, the final mating procedures that took place uh, to mate the Soyuz TMA-12 capsule to its booster rocket, uh, this occurring on Saturday at the Site-254 integration and assembly facility at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. The uh, mating uh, operation uh, takes the better part of a full day. You see uh, technicians attaching the escape rocket uh, to the upper stage of uh, the three-stage Soyuz rocket. This escape tower uh, would be used to pull the Soyuz TMA-12 away uh, from the rest of the rocket should a problem occur during the nine-and-a-half-minute climb to orbit. As we continue to watch uh, the footage uh, that was uh, sent uh, to us uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan early, er, earlier in the week, uh, once again you're seeing technicians as they uh, completed the mating of the Soyuz TMA-12 to its booster rocket. Uh, this occurred on Saturday. The crew uh, has actually been aboard uh, the Soyuz TMA-12 on this launch day for them for Sergei Volkov, a second-generation cosmonaut, Oleg Kononenko, the flight engineer, Volkov and Kononenko to spend a half year in space, and for So Yun Yi, the South Korean spaceflight participant who today embarks on an 11-day mission into space, nine days aboard the International Space Station under her commercial agreement uh, with her government and uh, the Russian Federal Space Agency, uh, Roscosmos. Uh, the trio arrived at the uh, launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at about uh, 3.30 central time this morning, uh, not quite uh, two hours ago. Uh, they said their final farewells at the elevator and uh, took the short ride on the elevator up to the uh, crew hatch where they climbed aboard to begin final pre-launch preparations. The uh, mating procedure that you see uh, of the uh, various stages of the Soyuz booster rocket and the TMA-12 uh, takes place uh, in a very methodical fashion in the Site-254 integration and assembly building down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, uh, overseen by a team of uh, engineers uh, from RSC Energia, uh, which is the prime contractor for the uh, Russian uh, human spaceflight operations, and other subcontractors uh, who are uh, responsible for the various uh, building of the rocket stages, the engines, the escape tower, and all of uh, the avionics associated uh, with the reliable Soyuz rocket, which again uh, was first employed uh, almost a half century ago for the launch of Yuri Gagarin off the same launch pad upon which Volkov, Kononenko, and So Yun Yi are currently uh, housed inside uh, the Soyuz TMA 12. This video uh, that was captured uh, several months ago during uh, the training period uh, shows uh, So Yun Yi on the left and her backup, San Ko, uh, who were selected in a nationwide competition by the government of South Korea to fly on the International Space Station as uh, they took a ride in uh, their, the Russian version of the Zero-G aircraft uh, that uh, flies uh, parabolic uh, maneuvers uh, in and around the area of the uh, Chikalovsky airfield uh, near Star City, uh, just outside of Moscow at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Sir, Training uh, Center. The backup crew of Expedition 
Once again, uh, you're looking at uh, training footage uh, that was shot of uh, the prime and backup crews uh, for Expedition 17 as uh, they completed uh, all of their training certification, uh, both at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center and uh, ultimately down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. You see the backup crew, Max uh, Sereyev, on the in the center, Oleg Skropochka on the right. They are the backup commander and flight engineer for Expedition uh, 17 uh, to the prime crew crew, which is uh, Sergei Volkov that you see in the middle of your picture, and Oleg uh, Kononenko, uh, who is now on the left, as they uh, talk to uh, Vasily Sibliev, uh, General Sibliev, who uh, heads up the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in uh, Star City. This so uh, uh, all uh, very ceremonial in nature, very traditional, as uh, the crews, uh, through their training periods at Star City, run through a series of uh, carefully choreographed uh, training procedures that leads them to their launch date today from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Volkov in the center, 35 years old, a second-generation cosmonaut, the son of uh, a legendary cosmonaut, Alexander Volkov, who flew three times uh, to the Mir space station during his career as a cosmonaut, who is now 59 years old. Volkov joined by Oleg Kononenko. Uh, who is 43 years old, uh, born in Turkmenia. Uh, Kononenko will serve with Volkov uh, on board the International Space Station for six months. You can see uh, South Korean children uh, that were brought uh, to uh, the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center as uh, part of their viewing of uh, the training of So Yun Yi and uh, of San Ko. This uh, footage uh, was shot actually at the time uh, of the crew's departure for the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan back on March 26th as they flew on a uh, Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center aircraft from the uh, Chikalovsky airfield uh, just outside of uh, Star City down to the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan as uh, the crews traditionally do about two weeks before launch uh, for final uh, training and rest and relaxation. These views uh, of the city of Baikonur along uh, the main uh, street uh, in the town uh, in which uh, the technicians work, uh, who work at the Cosmodrome as uh, the buses awaited uh, the arrival of the Expedition 17 Prime and Backup crews back on March 26th. Uh, you can see here the Prime crew descending uh, from their aircraft to be greeted uh, by officials uh, who are awaiting them. Down at the Cosmodrome, again, this back on March 26th, this followed uh, their final certification uh, for flight, a traditional laying of flowers at uh, the Kremlin Wall, and a visit uh, with Anatoly Permanov, the head of uh, the Russian Federal Space Agency. Again, all very ceremonial in nature. This occurring two weeks ago upon the uh, Prime and Backup crew's arrival down at the uh, launch site at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. This uh, ceremony now takes place.